We are Lindsay plus Mike, and we are spending the summer traveling across the United States in an RV. Our time in Astoria has come to an end, or so we thought. There was a bit of a scheduling mix-up. Finding ourselves with a surprise extra day in Astoria, we do the only logical thing. Go to the beach. If you're enjoying our adventures, please remember to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and click the bell to be notified when we post a new video each week. Good morning, world. Well, we did not leave today. We are still in Astoria. There was a bit of a scheduling mix-up, and we thought we were going to be headed into Portland today, but it turns out our check-in time is tomorrow. Good morning, world. Well, last night, I discovered right before I was going to get in bed that our campground reservation in Cascade Locks near Portland doesn't have us checking in until tomorrow. Needless to say, I didn't sleep a wink because I was stressing out about where the heck are we going to go. So first thing this morning, as soon as the office is opened, I ran up to the front desk and thankfully, without any trouble at all, they were able to just extend us for one night. What a relief. Um, so all the stress is just kind of eking back out of my body right now and I'm coming down from that very, very stressful place. <sighs> Working out campground reservations and any of the little hiccups that may arise is probably one of the most stressful things about all of this um, nomadic life that we're doing right now. So anyway, I'm going to head back to our campers now and I'm going to try and fool my mom and Mike into thinking that we have to leave. They said no and I'm going to try and make it kind of funny and get some good reactions and footage. We'll see. Um, I've seen this happen on other YouTube videos, but I think that the funniest part is just going to be that I can't keep a straight face because I'm a terrible liar. <laughs> so thankfully some good news and we're here one more day. Hey. What's going on? We have to go? Yeah. So confident that we were going to be able to stay. What happened? <laughs> We're staying. We are? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I had to do one of those, like, full you from yeah, YouTube. I know what Jordan does. <laughs> yeah. What Trent tries to do I with know, Ellie. I know. I'm terrible at it, though. So now I'm going to go try and trick my mom. Hello. So what's the news? What? No, we can't stay. So did you talk? Yes, we can stay? We can stay. Yeah? Yes. One night? Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Yep, it was no problem at all. So we were able to get an extra day here in Astoria so we don't have to actually move. Um, but now we actually have a bit of free time. So we're going to head to another beach. We're just going to kind of enjoy a little bit of a relaxing day and we'll travel tomorrow instead. But for now, we're headed to the beach. We're bringing Luna with us. Everybody's in the car, so let's get going. when I was little Felicity, I would make a peanut butter and cheese and chips sandwich. I would put chips on a sandwich. And that sounds quite awful, Mike. And her? Yeah, seriously. Jif peanut butter and craft cheese slices, the right kind of cheese. Thank you. He just said that Kraft American cheese is sliced cheese is the right kind of cheese, you guys. For certain situations, it is. Your tastes are invalid because you don't think Miracle Whip is right in tuna salad, so. The poor man, his wife is trying to keep him healthy. It's not like it's pain. 
didn't offer anything. Okay, Mike, here's some yes, this, ammo for you. This RV, cross-country RV travel diet has got Mike slimmed down quite nicely. here it's quite a steep hill that we parked on getting everything out was a little bit of a challenge with everything just kind of rolling and feeling like we're constantly falling so let's walk on down I think the others have already started wait till you see this Mike this is this is cool you are going to love this yeah this this place is called hug point everybody but me has already been here but this will be my first time visiting and your first time visiting. Interesting place to hole up for the night if you really needed it. like Kathleen got trapped by the tide. Has to take off her shoes to escape. Your turn. It's really cool. <laughs> And we're back. 
We've got a campfire going, we're making something to eat, and then it's going to be bedtime, so I think we're going to call it a night here. We're leaving for Portland tomorrow. It's going to be 85 to 90 degrees or so where we're going to be staying, and that's going to be the first time in five or six weeks where we haven't been staying in 60 and 70 degrees temperatures. So, back to the heat, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. You're rowing your wowie on your floor. No, my wowie on the floor. Your lovey? Uh -huh. On the floor. On the floor? Yes, but not rolling. Not throwing. Rolling.